Hi, let me walk you through the latest feature on Instadap, Protection Automation. So I started here with a blank account. Um, a few things to note, I will be using Polygon. Uh, this feature is available as well on Ethereum. And I will be using the multi-chain wallet, Ravi.io. And of course, you can always use MetaMask. So let's start off by importing uh, a position I already have on Aave. So I'm gonna to go to DSA tools and go to import. And it already has, I've already given allowance to uh, AETH. So I'm just gonna import it right now. And I might just bump up the gas just a little bit. Okay, and while that's confirming, let's do a really, really quick primer on the way Instadap shows you your risk profile. So on Instadap, you will see your position as something called debt to collateral ratio. It's really simple. It's the debt divided by the collateral value. So in this example, let's say if you borrow a thousand DAI and we assume that DAI is equal to a dollar, and you deposited $10,000 worth of ETH, um, your debt to collateral ratio would be 10%. And then the point at which you would be liquidated. Now remember, it's, very, it's different depending on the protocol in terms of you know, what happens during the liquidation, but that percentage, that point at which you would be liquidated is called the debt to collateral, the maximum debt to collateral ratio. And so that's what you wanna avoid. And now it's much simpler to do if you're doing a single asset so in this example, if you were to do Ethereum in Aave, it has a collateral factor of 0.75 or 75%. So you can borrow up to 75% of the value against your Ethereum. And so that would become your maximum debt to collateral ratio. If you use multiple assets, it does change. Um, but let's just start with that. So let's go back and see if our position is here. Now it says pending, but I have a feeling that, ah, it is confirmed, okay. So let's go over to the position. So right here, so over here we imported a position of 0 per 1 ETH and it has 50 DAI debt. Let's actually increase that a little bit because that's quite, that's not that much. And I want to use a particular number for our example. So we're going to borrow another 50 DAI. And again, I'm going to bump it up just because I want this to be faster. Okay, so we'll give that a second to confirm. So what you'll find here is under strategies, you'll find protection automation, which is right here. So let's actually open this tab. And it looks something like this. So hold on. It's giving me 82.5. Ah, all right, so this is interesting. So actually, the liquidation uh, level for, uh, for Ethereum is a little bit higher than I um, had calculated. So in my example, I use 0 0.75. It's actually 0 0.825. It's very interesting. Okay, so let's, um, so now the DAI, we've borrowed 100 DAI out of the 413 USD value of Ethereum, which is the current value. So if you see the debt to collateral ratio of this is about 24% and the maximum is 82.5. So if you go to protection automation, which you are gonna be uh, shown is a triggering ratio and a target ratio. So let's kind of figure out what these are. So the triggering ratio is the percent at which the collateral, the automation would occur and the target is where the automation will take you, right? So I guess a simple example would be, let's say if we wanted to pay back most of the debt if Ethereum crashed, like 50%. So at 50%, it would double the debt to collateral ratio, so it'd actually be 50. And then we'd say, okay, let's actually bring the position back to we could do 25, which is where it was before, or we can say, you know, that's kind of scary. We want to bring it all the way back down to like 10. So it actually will pay most of the debt. And so you would set 50 as the triggering ratio, 
and 10 as the target ratio. Um, so let's do some math before we kind of create this because this is a little, still could be vague. So again, uh, excuse my example, I use 0 0.75, it's actually 0 0.825. So in this example, we're just gonna assume that Ethereum is worth about $4,000. Um, it's a little bit higher at the moment. And we're going to also assume that the debt to collateral ratio is 0 0.75, which though in the example, it, in, in reality, it's actually a little bit higher. Okay, so in the example here, we have about $400 deposited in Ethereum. And then we have borrowed about 100 DAI. So very simply, 100 divided by 400 is 25%. And if you go back to the dashboard, it's pretty close, 24.11%. 24, 24%. So let's say in this example that Ethereum, the Ethereum price drops to $3,000. So that means that your debt to collateral ratio would be 33%. So let's say we set the triggering ratio at 33%. So that would be putting this right here at 33 and let's say we wanted the target ratio to just bring it back to where it was, which is 25. So what, that, what would that look like? Um, so at $300 or $3,000, you would pay back $25, of which Gelato would uh, charge you about two cents. And then depending on the combination of assets, Aave would also charge you a flash loan fee. And then as a result, you would have borrowed at this time $75. So $25 would get, would get paid back. And that would put you back at the 25% uh, debt to collateral ratio. OK, now that we have a better understanding of the debt to collateral ratio, we can, kind of, we can set up the protection automation. Um, so in this situation, I'm just gonna keep the target ratio at 25, so the position will stay pretty much where it is. And I'll put the trigger ratio at 50. And let's uh, execute the automation. And again, I want this to go a little bit fast, so I'm just gonna bump that up. Okay, so you can follow up the, the transaction right here. Uh, once it confirms, it will, you'll see a green check. I want to give it one other second because it should confirm relatively quickly. Um, so once you have your protection automation set up, what you can do is you can actually always go here as well and you can update it here. But uh, what you can find it at is under your authority. So it's confirmed and you can see it right here. So under authority, if you scroll down, you'll find your protection automation and it will show you right here, you know, the trigger liquidity, the target liquidity. We might have to fix that. That could just, might have to say ratio. Um, and then you can actually go to Polygon Scan and find when you set that uh, automation up. And if you wanna, again, make any changes, you just click here and you'll get this panel again. Um, and you just change the numbers and click upgrade and it will upgrade it for you. So another thing to note is, uh, again, as I kind of was describing, the automation is indefinite. So you know, once you hit the triggering ratio, it will put you at the target ratio. If the collateral continues to fall, it will hit the trigger ratio again. It will put you back in the target ratio. Uh, so on and so forth until you cancel it, which is right here, or until you change it, uh, the numbers here, or until some potentially some system upgrade, which will pause the, the, the automation, um, although that's less likely. Um, so if you have any questions, please find us over at Discord.